the weather for the 10th of December, this 10th day of Vlogmas. Really nice. Yeah, that was the Rosella flying over for you. Good afternoon everyone, welcome to day 10 of Vlogmas. As you can tell by the fact that it's afternoon, only just, <laughs> we've been having a pretty lazy day here. I have a feeling today's video might be quite short, uh, but there should be a lot of sewing in it. I feel in a very sewing-y sort of mood. <laughs> Our first order of business is, well, I've already shown you the weather, but I can tell you it's even nicer now. Just blue skies everywhere and birds making noises everywhere. <laughs> I have a little bowl of seed just out of sight because I heard the Rosellas tweeting as I came out here so I thought maybe they'll maybe they'll come down after I'm gone and I can leave them a, a gift of seed <laughs> to, to apologize for disturbing them. I'm also here to show you the advent calendar girls for the day and these ones are from 1965 and it's another top pattern. So, there you go I really love this I found this in an op shop and a couple of people have asked in me in the comments, so I thought I would tell you in video form <laughs> that Op Shop is short for Opportunity Shop. Um, but on this one, I love the little scalloped hems on these tops. I fully intend to make one one day, but in the meantime, there they are, looking lovely. I thought this one could work for Christmas for everyone, because down here we could use these ones, and in <laughs> the Northern Hemisphere, you can, you can use these ones same pattern but useful no matter what the season and I thought I would also show you another garment I'm going to add into my capsule wardrobe it's the capsule is getting bigger <laughs> it started off with five pieces and I already want to make the skirt the wrap skirt that'll make it six and I do want to make a plain t-shirt which will make it seven I have this fabulous fabric I don't know if you can see the sparkle in it but it's this lovely plain gray which I like and it has gold sparkly bits all through it and that was given to me by a friend who is also a former boss and she was moving to a smaller house and said come and take fabric away from me and I went okay if you insist I've wanted to make something for this for ages and I think it's a bit of fun I'm going to use this pattern Simplicity 8336 which I got in the sales a while ago and just a simple I want to make this one here not with the tassels as previously mentioned but just a, a simple sort of easy to wear top and I've already checked and it goes perfectly with the floral chambray and probably almost everything else in my wardrobe because it's plain grey, it should work. So it is going to be a pretty lazy day, I will update you on what I'm doing and show you where I'm getting on my Lottie blouse. I am making steps forward but have I mentioned I don't like the fabric? I don't like the fabric. <laughs> But it's, it's getting closer to the end, so that's the main thing, and I can move on to some other fun garments. I will go now, I'm feeling a bit peckish, see if Tim wants to get something for lunch, and I'll catch up with you very soon. In the interest of transparency, I thought I would show you my sewing table round about now. So, fabric to wash, stuff I'm working on, sewing machine obviously, and then other things I'm working on including the back of the cardigan I showed you a few videos ago, and here's all the Lottie stuff. So the rather sparse instructions and the actual blob of, oh it's not actually the top, it's just the tie. <laughs> I went and tried the top on to make sure it was going to look alright. But, yeah, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Pick 
Michael, you gonna do some sewing for me? Hey? No? There's a furry lump in the way of my sewing. She's sitting right where all the fabric has to go. Don't you want me to have nice clothes, Pickle? That's the face of a cat who doesn't care. I washed the sparkly fabric that I showed you this morning. And for some reason I was completely convinced that all the sparkles were going to wash off. <laughs> Obviously they didn't. Sparkles. Now, there's another fairy lump. Not in the way of my sewing. Missy. Missy. Say hello to the people. She's so rude. Alright, here. Thanks, Timothy. Here are the bias strips that I've made from the fabric that I really, really dislike. Sort of makes a bias strip. The crease stays long enough for me to pin it in and these are going to finish off the armholes. <sighs> Getting close to the end. Hello again everyone. Well it has been a super chilled and laid back day. We did lots of nothing very much. I got so much done on Lottie. See? <laughs> I really can't show you. I did so much on this. I have just basted up the bias binding strips to line the armholes so I'll go sew that later this evening and hopefully finish that off tonight. It's possible I might be able to finish it tomorrow and that would be great because it would be done. You will be relieved they'll be finished tomorrow because then I'll stop telling you how awful the fabric is but yeah I made a lot of progress but it still looks exactly the same. I also was hoping we might be able to go on the quest for my Christmas mug but all the op shops that I wanted to try were shut today because it's Sunday so I suppose it's reasonable I'll allow all the volunteers to have a day off I'm just that generous I know hopefully Tim will be home at a time tomorrow that means we can go out op shop hunting so that will be a lot of fun I also have to return a library book that's now overdue so we can do all of that in one. I won't show you that because that's really boring. <laughs> Here's footage of me returning a book. No, but we will hopefully go to the op shops and I really hope I'll find something really sort of festive. I want something a bit silly too. I don't, I don't mind having a silly mug or two. I might have to get one for Tim as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't think I don't think you'll care one way or the other, but yeah, I think that'd be nice. They don't have to match, but as long as they're both silly and festive, that's all that matters. The light is fading so quickly, and I have done absolutely no editing of this video so far today, so I will stop rambling on at you and go and put this video together for you. And we'll be back again tomorrow, and hopefully by the end of tomorrow's video, I will have a Christmas mug. Thank you for hanging around with me today and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>